What's up you guys, it's Steve here and reoccurring monthly $1,200 stimulus checks. As you will recall, there was a bill proposed for this just last week and now we're seeing articles come out like this. Take a look. New monthly stimulus checks would pay adults up to $1,200, $600 for children in Representative Ilhan Omar's proposed plan and this just came out yesterday as we're hearing it's getting more traction and support in Congress. That's right, more people are saying they like to see this happen. Now you guys, uh, this could be a possibility. We will see, I'll keep you up to date one way or the other, but can you imagine if this actually got included in the next stimulus package for 3.5 trillion? Now that would substantially increase the amount of that package, but if it was included, that would be huge. Now, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up because uh, we will see, but just want to report to you guys on the latest that's coming out as we're hearing it is getting more support. Now, right now, Congress is working on the infrastructure bill. First portion for one trillion for roads, bridges, and highways. And the second portion is, as we mentioned, 3.5 trillion for human infrastructure or more stimulus provisions. And we've heard Senator Bernie Sanders, Jaya Paul, I just reported to you guys, they're all saying they want more stimulus for people. They're proposing checks and they're saying that that this 3.5 trillion is just a down payment. And they're saying there's gonna be more to come. Now we will see because also we're seeing that cases across the nation for this Delta variant are actually on a steady incline. And we will see, I will keep you guys up to date on everything that's unfolding, but I wanna let you know the latest as to what's happening right now with these monthly reoccurring stimulus checks. So we're gonna dive right in and also, I've got some fun video footage for you of the rivalry between the Republicans and the Democrats in the Senate. So you guys, we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in, but before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second. If you like and appreciate these updates, keeping you up to date on stimulus, Congress, the economy, unemployment, anything having to do with money, don't forget to take a second to smash that like button. I would appreciate it, just takes a second, really helps me out a ton. Thank you so much, and if this is your first time here, don't forget, why don't you just go ahead and smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and you can come join the viewing community, come join the Ram Fam, we like to call it. And if you got any specific questions for me that you want me to answer, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram, at steveram3, that is by far the best way to get a hold of me if you got any specific questions you want answered. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in, get you caught up on the latest with what's happening with this new bill for reoccurring monthly $1,200 stimulus checks and the infrastructure bill. All right, so we're gonna be diving into this article about the stimulus checks here in just a second, but first, take a look at this video of what happened in the Senate between Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, both racing to the podium to address the press. Take a look at this. <laughs> The prerogatives of the majority. Well, you all remember what they used to say about Chuck over in the house. You never want to get between Chuck and the camera. <laughs> Just had a first-hand experience with that. Uh, I must say he was uh, quite good at beating me to the microphone. So there you have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as we saw the Senate leaders rushing to the podium to address the press and we saw Minority Leader Mitch McConnell take a step back and say, hey, you never want to get between uh, Chuck Schumer and the cameras. Let me know your thoughts down below, but we saw them rushing through to get things done just like they always do. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and rush into this article about stimulus checks so I can get you caught up on the latest. So as always, you guys, link in the description below to this article that just came out yesterday so you can read it for yourself and see that I'm not just making random stuff up. Now the article says, new monthly stimulus checks would pay adults up to $1,200 and $600 for children in Representative Ilhan Omar's new proposed plan. Now the article says that Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, a Minnesota Democrat, is proposing a plan to provide monthly stimulus payments of up to $1,200 for adults and 600 for children. Now, the Sending Unconditional Payments to People Overcoming Resistance to Triumph Plan, aka Support, 
is designed to build a 21st century economy that is reflective of Americans' everyday needs, according to the press release. Now, for too long, we have prioritized endless growth while millions are homeless, hungry, or without health care, Omar said. The pandemic has laid bare these inequalities. We as a nation have the ability to make sure that everyone has their basic needs like food, housing, and health care met. Now, a new office of guaranteed income programs would be established in the Treasury Department to oversee the payments under the proposal. United States residents 18 and older would receive $1,200 payments, while child dependents would receive $600 monthly. Now, eligibility is dependent on income. For example, single taxpayers would have to have an adjusted gross income of $75,000 a year or less, which is similar to what we saw with those first stimulus checks, which were just like this, only this one is going to be reoccurring. Now, for married couples filing jointly, maximum income would have to be $150,000. These stimulus payments would then be gradually scaled down by $5 for every 100 over those income levels. Now, the program would establish with a $2.5 billion grant fund used to pilot guaranteed income programs across the U.S., according to the AL.com. Now, the efforts would be studied from 20 to 23 to 2027, so they're going to have a four-year test pilot program before implementing these monthly reoccurring checks or guaranteed income program with the national program and payments starting in 2028. So, this actually officially going live is quite some ways out, but they do want to run test pilot programs that people could benefit from early on. Now, some Democratic members of Congress, they have shown support for Omar's bill as expressed in public statements. So you guys, we're starting to hear that members of Congress are starting to say they're willing to back this. They think that we should have this guaranteed income program with monthly checks. It's crucial that we access the economy based on how it serves working people instead of on the profits of the largest corporations, said Democratic Congresswoman of Illinois, Marie Newman. I am proud to co-sponsor the GPI Act and Support Act to ensure that we are accounting for economic justice in policy making and to provide crucial cash, assist cash assistance to tackle the country's gross income divide. A strong economy does not just work for the wealthy and well-connected. It should work for everyone. And I am thrilled to support legislation designed to do just that. So you guys, that is the latest on this bill we're hearing is getting traction and that is the details of it. Now, if this comes through, I will definitely be sure to let you guys know and keep you up to date here on the channel. Now, as it currently stands, as you know, Congress, they're working on the infrastructure bill. I let you know in today's previous video that we're hearing that they're getting delayed because they have like 300 amendments, modifications that they want made to the legislative text. And they're saying this is likely going to be going out until the weekend. Now, if we get any early updates on things, I'll be sure to let you guys know, but it looks like the first portion won't be done until maybe Saturday at the soonest. Now, they're also working on the second portion, and as I mentioned, that's going to be human infrastructure or the stimulus package that we're going to see, which is going to be by far the largest one we have seen yet. Now, currently, we're hearing not proposed are checks. Checks are not included, but... Like we've seen in the past, they always slip provisions in or take them out. We saw that with the second stimulus check, literally days before it passed into law, the checks were included. So we will see, and now we're hearing growing support for this monthly reoccurring check. Now, in addition to that, as I mentioned, unfortunately, we're hearing that the Delta variant is spreading and cases are at a new high. And if we start seeing more restrictions put into place and things start going backwards in our fight against the pandemic, there might be a need for more stimulus provisions. Now, whatever unfolds, I'll keep you guys up to date here on the channel so that way you know what's happening. But that is pretty much it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, if you like and appreciate these videos and you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, smash that like button. Just takes a second, really helps me out a ton. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. And if this is your first time here, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Come join the Ram fam and I'll keep you up to date on everything that's happening. And if you got any specific questions for me, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. But with that being said, you guys, hope this reaches you well. Remember, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday, guaranteed uploads and also random uploads throughout the day as news breaks. But with that being said, catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.